Louise had a YouTube channel in which she made skiing videos. Well, in one of those videos that she made, she put Lucid Dreams by Juice World, of course, a copyrighted song, in the background. Well, she got a copyright claim and eventually the video was taken down. Why? because she violated YouTube copyright rules. Don't understand these rules? Well, let a lawyer explain them to you. I'm Ian Corzine, your social media lawyer. In today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you in very easy to understand fashion, YouTube copyright rules. Okay, let's jump in. In June of 2017, Juice World had a broken heart. So what did he do? He decided to write a song called Lucid Dreams and released it in 2017 on SoundCloud. The minute Juice World rendered Lucid Dreams as a completed digital file, it was automatically copyrighted because it was made in America. In other words, Juice World owned the song. No one could copy it, no one could make another song based upon it, and no one else could perform it without his permission. Again, since Juice World made the song Lucid Dreams in America, it was automatically copyrighted when he actually converted the song into a digital file, and there was no need for him to go to a government agency and register the song as copyrighted. It was automatically copyrighted. Now, Louise was a professional skier, and unfortunately, she had a ski accident and broke both legs but she wanted to continue on in the ski sport and so she started making YouTube videos about skiing. She wanted to make people love skiing just like she had and if she couldn't do it herself, she wanted other people to have the joys of skiing. Louise included the Juice World song in her video because it was such a great song and she wanted to have an emotional tie with her viewers. She wanted people to love skiing and they could listen to the song in the background and really feel some emotions about skiing, and so therefore they might want to ski themselves more often. Unfortunately, Louise did not get permission from Juice World to use the Lucid Dream song, and that violated YouTube copyright rules as well as American copyright law. And because Louise did not follow YouTube copyright rules, she received a copyright claim. Now, what a copyright claim is, it is a situation where YouTube's AI identifies copyrighted material from one artist in another artist's video and therefore flags it. YouTube AI gets this information by the original copyright holder or his agent, his lawyer, his music company, whatever it is, they upload the original copy, in this case of a song, but it could be a video or it could be an image into YouTube's computers and then they have a copy and then they compare it with all the other videos that are being uploaded on a day-to-day -day basis and if they match, then they raise a copyright claim. And when there's a copyright claim, then the amount of money that the creator who just uploaded the video, so like in this case, Louise, that money that she's making on ad revenue goes to the original copyright holder. What's kind of difficult to understand sometimes is that there's not a percentage that the original copyright holder, in this case, Juice World, gets. He gets the entire amount of money that Louise gets for publishing the video on YouTube. I wanna make sure that you understand that when you get a YouTube copyright claim, it does not affect your ability to get more views on your video itself or your channel. It is merely a claim in which the original copyright holder, the person who made content that appears in your video, gets all the money from your video. However, the real big problem that Louise faced as far as this ski video went is that it was taken down. And that is a problem for a channel. Generally, YouTube takes down a video for one of three reasons. The first one is that YouTube determines that the video uploaded violates community guidelines. The second reason is that YouTube determines that the video uploaded violates their copyright rules. And the third reason that YouTube would take down a video is that the person who owns content that appears in another video files a request to take down that video. Now, when that happens, YouTube, as a matter of law, is obligated to take that video down. Now, you do have a remedy. Oftentimes you can appeal or you can file what's called a counter notification. But I advise you, before you ever file a counter notification, that you contact a social media lawyer before you do it so that lawyer can help you with the request. Oftentimes there's some wording that lawyers can help you with in the notification and filing a notification has a lot of legal ramifications that you need to know about before you press click. I wanna counter that takedown request. In Louise's case, 
She received a copyright strike for using the Juice World song without permission and a takedown request was filed. Now, one copyright strike is not the end of your channel. However, I want to caution you. I have seen many of my clients that have received one copyright strike that have received less views on the video that got the copyright strike and also on their channel. So you really don't want to have copyright strikes. Now, if you do get one copyright strike, it's not the end of the world. If you attend YouTube's online copyright school, that copyright strike will fall off your record within 90 days. Now, if Louise used more copyrighted content in her videos and she got more than one copyright strike, she risks not only losing the videos from her channel, but she also risks losing her channel forever. And I have to plead with you, if you ever get more than one copyright strike on your channel, please call a social media lawyer. You need to know how to do it right to be able to get that channel back and to get those copyright strikes off your record. But in the case of Louise, she only got one copyright strike. And actually, after she went to YouTube's copyright school, that copyright strike fell off her record within 87 days. So it was actually shorter than the 90 days. And Louise learned her lesson about using copyrighted music in the background of her videos. That lesson was she's not going to do it anymore. Now Louise relies on Creative Commons music and royalty free music. If you want to learn more about what Creative Commons music is and what royalty free music is you can watch my videos right there. I'm also going to make some more videos about it to go into detail so that you can use these types of music in your background of your videos and not risk copyright claims or copyright strikes. Now I want you to remember these three things about YouTube copyright rules in 2021. The first is when you create something, you create a video, you do some audio, do an image, and you're doing it in America or most countries, right when you create it, it's automatically protected by copyright law. You don't have to do anything else to be able to have there be a legal ownership over your audio, video, or images. Number two, YouTube allows you to use other people's video, audio, or images in your videos, but only if you have permission. And then three, if you violate this one rule, you risk getting a copyright claim or worse, a copyright strike, which could take down your video or the absolute worst thing is it could take down your channel. If that's the case, if you're facing that, you should contact a social media lawyer. All right, that's it. I am freezing out here. It's seven degrees out here in Mammoth Lakes, California. Listen, if you would like a kind of a legal guide of these YouTube copyright rules for 2021, I put together this guide for you. It's like a one page thing. You can get it for free if you text LAW to the number you see on the screen. Just text LAW to the number you see on the screen. And finally, do you have any questions about YouTube copyright rules? If you do, let me know them in the comment section below. And also, I am looking forward to reading your comments out there. I love seeing all your comments, but if you ever want to talk to me personally, you want to schedule some time on my calendar so that we can go over a specific issue that you're facing on your YouTube channel, just go to iancorzine.com, go into the upper right portion of the website, and you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consult. Otherwise, have a great day. I'm going to hit the slopes with my snowboard and enjoy this really snowy and cold weather.